Isn't this beautiful? Look at that. So, this evening is, this evening's uh, photo shoot is at the Salinas, Sicilia salt pans. Now, I'm at the northern part of the salt pans, and this is the part where they still actively make the salt using traditional methods. There's two reasons why I've come to this part. First one is it's more accessible. You can drive up to a car park pay seven euros and just come walking straight down here. And the second reason is that the sun is going to set over there on the horizon and not behind all these hills here. So if you go further south, there's more chance that the sun will set behind the hills this time of year anyway, because it's August, it's late August, so it's high summer. So this is the best time to come. Now, I got all this information from a great website and now available on a smartphone app called PhotoHound. So while I'm walking down here, I'll show you PhotoHound and show you all the information that they have about this place, okay? So this is the PhotoHound app. Now PhotoHound was started several years ago as a collaboration between a Slovenian guy and a British lady. And it's a really great idea. And it originated as a website. It's still available as a website, but they've been working hard over the years to develop the uh, smartphone app version. And this is it, it's finally been released now and it is really handy. I mean, prior to this on the smartphone, it was a bit of a pain using the website, but now we've got the app, it is much, much better. Now, basically what you can do, this, uh, the PhotoHound website and app will help you find photographic locations all around the world. And anyone can contribute to it. It's not just uh, created by the people who run it. It's created by photographers all around the world. So yourself and myself can go on here. I've actually done it myself. I've gone on here and I've added a photo location. So down, basically what you do is you, you zoom into the area where you're gonna be. So in my case, I was coming down to the Cetulia salt pans, which are here. And you can see these three black icons here are telling you the three photographic locations on the salt pans. And also when you're down this area, you can view it as a list or you can click this little arrow and then scroll through wherever you are on your map, you can scroll through locations. So here you can see the three locations. So we've got this location here, Lera. Now that's where I am now, Sicilia Salt Pans, Lera. Then you've got, now the icon is in red, that's indicating the area I'm looking at now. This is uh, further south, the Salt Pans, the Sicilia Salt Pans Museum, and here, the Salinas Natural Park. So there are three locations for photography, actually. Now, if you click on each one, it tells you all about it. Here, the museum, yeah, it gives you about the spot, what to shoot, directions to getting there, that's the most useful bit and information for sunrise, sunset, and things like that. Now, this is what's really important, the directions on how to get there. Now you'll see that the two locations on the south side, you have to actually cross the border. You go across the, basically this, this area, if we go back to our map, is right on the Slovenia-Croatia border. Now, as explained in the guide, 
you actually have to go through the Slovenian side of the border and then come down here to visit these locations. So uh, it's, a, it's a bit more difficult, especially in the summer, because I'm here in the summer now, and of course uh, the queues to the border are huge. So all that mucking around just to come across and do that, it's just not worth it at this time. But if you are planning to, especially the museum area, as you can see by these photos and location, it's, it's really, really nice, well worth visiting. So if we click this one, this is where I am now. And so it explains here how to get there and what to shoot. Quick shot of the evening. The sun's going to go down in the next half an hour, I think. So there's some nice leading lines with this boardwalk here. It's a nice bit of cloud reflected. And a quick one. It's got a nice over here too. the reflection of this building. I want to just get a quick one here before I head closer down to it, just in case. stop hard grid on here just to quickly pull down that sky attach now oh, the thing is I did get here kind of late because I am here with the family, so it's pretty hard to get out there, get out here and take the time to scout these places. So I am kind of rushing to find a composition for when the sun goes down. Hopefully I can get behind this house over here or some other interesting feature in the foreground. A race against time. The sun is going down. Oh, this is nice question is can I get across the other side to it let's see this is beautiful Visitor centre down there. Sun setting over there. The looks at things perhaps. This tends to lead down this way. I think from this perspective it's not going to give me a very interesting view so it doesn't look like I can get to the other side of that building over there so I think my best composition is going to be from the bridge itself or just a little bit further on from the bridge Still fairly high, which is good. I 
And this bridge looks quite interesting. And there's a nice reflection over here. So I'm just going to shoot down if the sun hasn't gone too low to see if I can get one shot from this side of the house because there's a lovely reflection in the water and there's a nice warm light falling on it. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice, that's a shot. So I'm going to have a go. First of all, at this one. Try to get as much of these uh, fields here. I don't know if they're salt fields by the looks of it. Looks like they've sectioned them off and maybe that's the section where they actually uh, make collect the salt. I'm not an expert on these things. Damn. Small bit of grass in the way. I don't want to move it. So I'll move myself. Tempting sometimes to go down and break and move these things, but it's something you really shouldn't do, and you definitely shouldn't do it here on a nature reserve. I need some. I need to come in a bit, really. If I go wide angle with the the grad on, question is, do I need the grad? Yes, I do because the reflection is much darker. I think I need a soft grad. This one. Or a medium grad. That's a two stop medium. Two stop medium. This will be the right one, I think. Lovely. First shot in the bag. Some nice cloud over there. You see, when I move closer or move further down, that cloud then goes below the roof, which I don't want. So this is the best spot. Still getting a bit of vignette in there, but I can take care of that in post-processing. Vignetting is caused by the wide angle on the and the grad. So shooting at a 24 millimeter wide angle. Now let's get back to my composition for the sunset. The sun is going down. So, sun is getting close to the horizon now. It's never ideal to have to work fast to run around to find a composition, but sometimes you have to. And sometimes it's good because it makes you think. Bit of a low angle. I think I might be better going over to that other bridge. Nice wildlife here. Three stop hard grad now. Line up. Use this little channel here as a, a lead in line.
it's open here till nine o'clock so if you do happen to come in in the summer that is you can get in for the sunset I'm not so sure you can get in for the sunrise though sunrise is around quarter past six and I'm not so sure I very much doubt they're open but I also don't know if you can get in either Line up this little composition here looks a bit interesting. I might give it a go. Oh, this is a nice, this is it. Now here. Yeah. We've really got the colour now. From this angle here. Ah, oh, that's working beautifully. Now the colours really spread across that water now. That's amazing. Got a lovely wide angle shot of this. Nice bit of wispy cloud. Still again, if you're going close, a lot of color there sometimes you have to go in close to get it <laughs> 